the 60s were different. <laughs> I was a bit of a radical, but that's what happened back then. You were black, things were changing, and we were very, very upset. That changed actually at a riot in Harvard Square when I finally realized this is, this is going too far. I couldn't get a job in my state of Georgia, so I came here and I was only gonna stay a couple of years. This is a calling. I've never had any other dream but to return to Savannah, Georgia. That's, that's my number one dream. I couldn't get a job in my state of Georgia. It, it's that simple. I mean, some people make it very complicated. I could not get a job. And I looked at the firms in Atlanta. I looked at lots of places. I got zero job offers. Senator Danforth offered me a job. Jack Danforth, a good man. The biggest problem that I had with him is he was a Republican. But, but I got over it when I had only had one job offer. <laughs> and so I came here and I was only going to stay a couple of years and then I was going to Savannah. I think I look back on those days that I came of age as the, the sort of the, the, the years that I will treasure because they were really, really hard. There must have been people you turned well, to for bride. her advice. I mean, you know, we, she and I, I met her in 1986, and that was the beginning of me going back to the things that were most important in my life. My grandparents are gone, so that anchor is gone. You begin to assemble a family. So I'm sort of without that base. So you begin to look for people to fill that in. I love my law clerks. I absolutely love my law clerks. I have to pick my family, and these kids are my family, and they've brought joy to my life. Um, tomorrow I will have lunch with about 35 former law clerks. We have monthly lunches, and that is one of the high points, monthly high points for me. I understand that you take a pilgrimage to Gettysburg every year with your law clerks, or almost every year. And... Poor kids, I dragged them there. <laughs> I love going to Gettysburg. At the end of the term, I think that people tend to be a little jaded. I want them to go to Gettysburg and to think about what the price that was paid for this country to exist. What Lincoln had to say and what he did has affected our country enormously, but it's affected me too. My life is different. I certainly wouldn't be sitting here, and I certainly wouldn't be sitting on the Supreme Court of the United States. That's the theme I try to carry with me and with my clerks. It's perfectible, but you can't do that if you don't do it on principle. It is whether or not your principles are right, and they are the principles of this country.